political sectarian painting that we know of in Belfast was painted in 1908. So just over a hundred years they've been painted. For a long time it was only Protestants that painted the murals. Partly because they had the control, they had the power. Protestant Catholics were not allowed as much to, to, to get paint, to demonstrate, to, to do their political culture. In fact, during the conflict, the early years of the conflict, a person was shot and killed for painting an Irish tricolour on, on a wall. In 1981, there was a big campaign around for, related to the political prisoners. A number of people went on hunger strike, and the hunger strikes brought in a lot of solidarity and support from within the Catholic community, for, for the IRA people who were on the hunger strike. They started painting graffiti, became more and more elaborate, and became more elaborate murals. So the Catholic practice of painting murals, which we see here, started in 1981. So it's, what, 35 years they've been going. The murals are painted by, a lot of them are painted by people who work within the political movements. They paint for them. They paint things about elements of the conflict, representations of the conflict, of people who died in the conflict, but also the, the second one along is linked to an ethnic community here, an indigenous ethnic community, a bit like the Roma, gypsies, travellers, they're mobile nomadic people. So you have other conflicts which are, they link them to other conflicts in other areas. So you have Leonard Peltier is a, an American Indian movement activist who's been in prison for a long time. You have... You have connections with ETA, you have connections with Gaza.